Uh, hi, Antony. I am Krishna Gram from Intel Corporation. I am representing the OpenStack Foundation's product working group. And this is part of a series of video interviews uh, for the Newton design uh, cycle. So where we are uh, interviewing each of the project uh, leads or cores to uh, provide some details about what is being planned for uh, the Newton release coming up in October before the Barcelona summit. So uh, to start with, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Very well, thanks. So uh, my name is Antonio Saura Puymedon. I work at Midacura and I've been a core of the Courier project since the very beginning. Uh, we started with Cal and we quickly got more people involved and I tend to uh, take care of the aspects of the project that are more about planning uh, the features and, and bothering a bit the people around about, ah, oh, we should add this, we should add that. So that's more or less what, what I'm doing. It, I wouldn't call it product management because it's not really a product, but it's uh, yeah, it's just taking care of the, of the small nuisances and, and, the, and the path to grow. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you for that. So tell us a little bit about the your project, the courier project, which I know is based on a Czech word for the English word courier. So tell yeah, us a little yeah. bit about it. Yeah, yeah so the, the project, just like a courier, uh, is to bring uh, packets, in this case networking packets, uh, to a destination. And the destination is the, the container world. We started uh, simply with a lib network driver, and for, for, for those unaware, lib network is uh, the uh, Docker implementation of the con uh, container network model, yes. CNM. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, because there's competing uh, standards, and I always get them mixed up a bit. <laughs> so uh, it, it was started with that, and the idea is that. Uh, in the container networking world, uh, the things are very simple. They are not production ready or they don't give you the features that, that one would expect from networking software, uh, right. like what you get in Neutron from the different vendors and so on. Right. So right. We, we set ourselves to bring all the Neutron power uh, to the different container uh, solutions. So right. we started with Docker. Uh, we may target Rocket at some point. It was discussed in the summit. We are now working on other orchestration engines like uh, not just Swarm with Lib Network, but also uh, Kubernetes. So, okay. so that's we want to bring all the good of the of, our, of the networking that is in OpenStack right. to as, as many uh, container projects as possible. Terrific. And you mentioned the, the Austin summit. So what were the hot topics there? You know, if you could summarize two or three hot topics during the Newton Design Summit. Sure. So we arrived there uh, with something that was already working, which was the, the Lib Network integration. And, and we also brought a surprise for the presentation, which was, uh, well, for one of the presentations, which was to uh, show how the fact that you have Neutron backing your networking containers uh, doesn't just let you connect your uh, containers and your virtual machines, but it also allows you to bridge the gap between competing uh, container technologies. And in this case, we showed how I could ping from Kubernetes to Swarm containers. Okay. Uh, and that was a prototype, the Kubernetes, which are, we are starting to upstream now. Okay. So at the Austin Summit, uh, the biggest focus was satisfying uh, the, the different use cases that the operators have uh, now uh, when they want to operate containers because nobody runs just Docker. Yes. The, the focus was to provide the networking for Swarm to design uh, and stabilize the prototype that we have for, uh, for Kubernetes start to plan a bit what to do about uh, the Mesos integration and also how to do all of that in uh, when containers run inside virtual machines like uh, the Magnum project does. So we had some very healthy discussion with the Magnum team into how a first integration can look like 
to bring the benefits that, that we can bring uh, there to have a native uh, open stuff, open stack networking for containers that are managed by right. Magnum environments. Right. In fact, you talked a little bit already about user needs, um, uh, specifically that nobody operates a, a container environment in isolation. It has to interface with your existing networking environment. And, um, and you also talked about, you know, in, in, integrating with the Magnum uh, uh, project. So were there any other user needs that you were, uh, that you were, you had identified uh, or problems that you're looking to solve for new to sure sure we're also growing a bit in scope uh, th there are uh, teams in openstack that are starting to form to bring things like uh, block storage uh, disaster recovery and all those things to openstack mm -hmm. and to containers mm -hmm. and in the way that they want to do that we are trying to help and, and to be a bit of an incubator for, for those projects. So that's, that's also something that is in the scope uh, because the, for, for me and for us in, in, in Courier, the value of uh, OpenStack is not just uh, an environment where, where you run virtualization workloads, mm -hmm. but it's, it's more of a set of APIs that you can use uh, for providing advanced and production ready services to uh, whatever you have, to bare metal, to containers, and to virtual machines. And the good thing is that if you use these APIs for, um, for all of your workloads, uh, your operators will be able to leverage the knowledge that they already have uh, okay. for ac across the board and also okay. to lock everything on the same way, to have the same policies. And the okay. way that, 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 that we want to do that, because that is very important for operators, that, and it is a big uh, need, is that it has to feel native to the platform, but still allow you to go behind the, back, uh, behind the, behind the container orchestration okay. and be able to tweak things in uh, Neutron or in Cinder or whatever. Right, right, right. So as I can see, this would also eliminate the need to do a lot of individual modules in Magnum to connect the different uh, types of uh, environments to the networking, right? It's all being done through one, one standard set of APIs. Uh, in yeah, exactly. It, it yeah. would be shifting, shifting a bit the, the work. Yeah. So Magnum would still need slightly different courier deployment uh, okay. for each of the container uh, options, but it moves the work of uh, accommodating those networking uh, right. requirements for each of the platforms into the courier project. Into the courier, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and that's why we started now to split the repository into a core library that we use, uh, which was the, the original repository. Right. And then we'll have one for Kubernetes. Well, we already have that one, courier Kubernetes. We have courier lib network. Okay. And, and we we will have others, uh, okay. I, I guess. Okay. So then what would you say are the top three priorities for the Newton release, right? What, what, if you really narrow down to, okay, we've got all these things you're going to do for Newton, what would you really prioritize? Sure. So in the Newton cycle, the biggest uh, focus is going to be in, in having this split of the, of the repositories so that we are able to to build a proper pipeline for delivery of uh, our solution. Mm -hmm. So with each, with each commit that will go into Kudirlib network, for example, it will automatically generate a container that will trigger uh, a job that mm -hmm. will run the Kudir container with the Neutron and Keystone containers out mm -hmm. of the project Cola. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to run end-to-end -end testing with that with uh, Docker Swarm. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have something that works is reliable and also we can tag as a first uh, release of the lib network driver uh, of courier and okay and then we're gonna have to do the same uh, for kubernetes okay. Probably it's not gonna fit all in the same cycle but the approach is the same with each patch you run a whole ci that's that that has a container as the delivery method we okay. 
they are not centered so much in PyPy uh, or PyPy uh, like other projects. Our chosen way of delivery is through containers. So what okay. we want is that uh, people can just do Docker run and, and they already have courier and they can point it to their existing Neutron or they can just use Cola to spin out to spin up, sorry, uh, Neutron and, and Keystone containers. Got it. And the final thing that we're, that we're going to target is the nested integration. Right. Uh, so, so that we can serve Magnum. That needs still a bit of work in, in Neutron. And okay. we are going to try to assist and to, to make sure that, that the requirements are in line with what both, uh, it's probably one of the first collaborations across three teams, right. like it's going to be Neutron, Courier, and, and, and Magnum. So it, it may be a bit difficult, but if it works, I think it, it's going to provide a lot of value to uh, OpenStack okay. operators. Okay. From what I hear, your whole description of your priorities for Newton, it seems like interoperability is a big theme for, for the Newton yes. cycle. And uh, maybe a little bit of modularity. Are there any other themes uh, that you have? Uh, uh, with uh, yeah. Well, the biggest one is that by uh, we are trying to, to solve different things in, in this way of, of the container delivery that passes a, a pipeline of, of tests mm -hmm. uh, using the containers and so on. The biggest uh, late motive behind that is that we want uh, something that is easily repeatable and that uh, has been tested in the way that it will be consumed. Mm -hmm. So I expect people that they maybe they will adapt the containers that we make but our containers should have uh, much stronger test testing than they have now. Right. And we should build uh, a bit of tooling for uh, the operators so that concerns about where will the logs go, uh, okay. how, if you run containers in VMs in Magnum, uh, how will the operators get the data that is running with, agents on those VMs Great. and so on. So we need to make a, a good user story for the, okay. for the operators that, that makes everything easy to consume. Yeah, so better manageability. Yeah. <laughs> better manageability yes. and, and, you know. And reliability. reliability. Yeah, okay. Yes. That, that seems to fit in. So yeah, you've, you've given us a lot. You've, you've, you've really talked a lot about uh, what going to be done in Korea for Newton cycle in a very short period of time. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add um, before we close out the interview? Well, uh, I always like to close saying <laughs> that if anybody is watching and, and he has some requirements that, that, or wants to help with documentation or he's just going to say, hey, I run this specific container orchestration engine, which is not targeted at the moment, but I would like to contribute to that, even if it's just helping design a future integration. Right. Just join us in openstack Courier in IRC or on the mailing list, and we're more than happy to host uh, any crazy integration that you can think of. <laughs> right, okay. That is a very good closing, Anthony, and uh, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate Thanks it. And all the best to the Courier project. We're looking forward to all the good things coming out of the Newton release. Thank you.